to all the people out there that hate on me because of what I said about XRP. Guys, for me, my name is Didi, is all about to be or not to be, not to XRP. I'm gonna tell you why I called XRP a shitcoin. These are my reasons. XRP is centralized. Bitcoin is decentralized. The difference lays in their governance models. Everyone can contribute to the Bitcoin blockchain with computing power. We don't handpick validators or nodes or whatever. Everyone has the possibility to run the Bitcoin full blockchain on a node or on a miner. This, in contrast to what XRP is doing, running validators that are being handpicked by the Ripple company, a few of them even owned by the Ripple company, and all the others probably owned by companies that are very close to the Ripple company. It's not that everyone can become a validator like this, impossible. So that's very centralized. Ripple Labs has a shitload of control on the complete Ripple blockchain. The unique aspect now is that those validators are either run by Ripple company or by friends that are closely associated to the Ripple company, of course. Very centralized. They have a huge influence in the network this way. That is completely centralized. That is not decentralized like Bitcoin. That's why I said Ripple is a shitcoin and is very centralized. And yes, I do understand that everyone is able to run a Ripple node, but at the end, it's still the validators that are validating all those transactions and they have a huge influence on the network. Very centralized group of 35 validators, mostly owned by Ripple itself or by companies that are very closely affiliated to the Ripple company. That is not decentralization, that is a shitcoin. Then the second reason is the circulating supply. Bitcoin has 21 million Bitcoins and there can never be created more Bitcoins than that. It will take till the year 2140 for the last Bitcoin to be mined. XRP on the other hand, 100 billion pre-mined tokens of which 50% is now on the market and 50% is still in the pocket of the company Ripple that can dump it if they wanted to technically dump it completely on the other people like you that hold a ripple. So 50% of the pre-mined tokens are still in full control of ripple. That is very centralized. They can massively influence the market. And also, as you know, it is even possible for them to create more than 100 billion tokens. And as you know, the more money you print in the world, the more inflation you will get. This is the same thing for Ripple. The more they keep throwing a little bit of Ripple every year into the market, the more inflationary it is. And that is probably why it didn't create a new all-time high. But I will come to that later. But the biggest difference that you need to understand is that when Satoshi Nakamoto started to mine Bitcoins, everyone else could also start to mine Bitcoin no pre-mining, distributing it whenever you want. No, equally being able to mine Bitcoin, not that shitcoin. So XRP for me is not a cryptocurrency. It is just a company that is trying to facilitate cross-border transactions for financial institutions and banks. While Bitcoin was invented to disrupt the banking system, XRP is supporting that banking system. That banking system that has been screwing us over and creating inflation and making you poorer every day and again and again. And XRP and the Ripple company are trying to support those people that I as a Bitcoin are against. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer currency that everyone can use all over the world in a very decentralized way. There is not a majority of Bitcoins owned by one company that can influence the whole market. The Bitcoiners don't want to support the banks, they want to disrupt the banking system by creating an equal economy that is accessible for everyone out there, that doesn't have a centralized company above it, that handpicks nodes or whatever, miners and everything. No, that is exactly what XRP is doing, it's centralized facilitating cross-border settlements for financial institutions that have been screwing you over for the last couple of decades. I don't want to be part of that shitcoin. And the latest hack, you know, one of your bosses there at the Ripple lost like $100 million worth of Ripple. 
that made the validators decide to create a clawback function. So now, instead of the only function that XRP had to freeze your tokens, yes, your XRP can be frozen, now there is also a clawback function. So now they can retrieve tokens as well. Because of course they want to retrieve the $1 million worth of tokens for their boss. So the validators decided that this clawback function needed to be there. Did you vote for this as a Ripple or XRP holder? That is very centralized. A couple of validators introducing a clawback function that makes it possible for them to grab back the ripples if they think that they are not legally taken. So who's gonna decide if what they think is right or wrong? Centralized as fuck. And then at the end, we still have the investment in XRP. I know it started all the way in 2012, for those XRP people that don't know it, it started way back. But you know, it started to get popular around the 2017 bull market and most of you got in around 10 cents. And most of you experienced that beautiful all-time high of $3.30, somewhere in that area, in 2017. Now, in 2021, when Bitcoin was making again a new all-time high, XRP only reached, what, two bucks, two dollars? So that's not an all-time high in 2021. So you need to wait already now for almost six years for a new all-time high to happen in XRP, investment-wise, really bad. If we draw down this line, this trend line of tops, the new top in 2025 could only be like one dollar. Woohoo! Times two, your capital in the next two years. Investment-wise, not a good currency. I would prefer to invest in currencies that go times five, six, or maybe times 20, not times two. Not currencies that didn't make an all-time high in 2021, when all the other cryptocurrencies did make an all-time high. Investment-wise, also not a good project, if you ask me. And for all those that were commenting, ah, XRP will go to $100, and uh, let's see what you have to say then. For XRP to go to $100 with the current 52 billion tokens in the market, you need to go to a market cap of 5.2 trillion. That's four times as much as the complete crypto market cap together at the moment. If you really believe that that is going to happen for XRP, four times the total cryptocurrency market cap in total in the next two years, sorry, but then we are really not the same. Never going to happen, in my honest opinion. Uh, for me, XRP still a shitcoin. Sorry guys, don't shoot the messenger. This is why I think XRP is a shitcoin. It is not bad. You have Bitcoin, you have cryptocurrencies, and you have the shitcoin. Ripple XRP is for me in the shitcoin category. Thanks for watching this beautiful video, and let me know down below if you now agree with me or why I am wrong.